It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Browns and the Silver and Black. And it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. Brandon Gaughan and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. And we are underway here in Las Vegas. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. Orchestrating the offense will be a man who, of course, won a national title back in his days at Clemson, Deshaun Watson. And after two consecutive seasons where he played just 12 games combined, they're hoping that this is a year where Watson finally shows that he's worthy of that massive contract they received back in 2022. Not that long ago, we're talking about him as one of the top quarterbacks in the league. And if he gets back on track, this team can make some serious noise as the year unfolds. And they'll send Judy in motion left. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a start they can live with. 15 yards on their first play from scrimmage. I think the reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Watson. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 38-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, then he curls back inside for the completion. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 38. The handoff to Ford up the middle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And they'll come up second and seven. Now it's Watson, a bootleg. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. David Njoku, 35 yards. And the Browns are on the board first here in Vegas. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. It's up and through to make it 7-0 Browns. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland.
Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Pushing his way through. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So out come the Raiders for their opening drive. And at the helm in his first year in silver and black, sixth season overall, Gardner Minshew. And he's someone who brings a ton of personality with him, but don't let that fool you. He's more than capable of playing winning football at this level and has actually done so. I don't know if he's their long-term answer under center, but as long as he trots out there, they'll have a puncher's chance and maybe a bit more to compete with any team they line up against. First carry of the game for Zamir White. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Just need a yard here, second and one. Opting to run again here with White. Now that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. Here now, third and a yard. Now Minshew. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Back deep, James Prochet. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Browns will take over first and 10. Off of play action, it's Watson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. But how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers, and left no real options for him to throw it downfield. This is Ford. And he can muster only a couple here to the 24. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. From the gun on third, Watson. And he backs it away, and it falls down in good play. Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. We'll call that a 47-yard punt, a return of just three. And it'll be Raiders football first and ten. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. 
And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They stay on the ground with White. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. First down. Here's White. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Credit Zadarius Smith able to get through and make that tackle for a loss. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. They run straight ahead here with White. And only a couple for him there as the tackle is made at the 42. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Out of the gun is Minshew. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Another opportunity now for the Browns offense. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Out of the gun, Watson. And here's the former Raider wideout, Amari Cooper. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Here's Watson. That's to the former Bronco, Jerry Judy. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. Watson now to throw. Right back to Judy, and it's complete get this one across the 45 before he's brought down back-to-back -back receptions for him and it's another first down so many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground we can live with that but if you're going to give up 10 12 15 yards after the catch then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble they run with Ford and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down no gain on the play. It'll be second down. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There's absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. Now a second and ten. A shotgun snap for Watson. That's to the right side and complete to Majoku. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 
The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him, and he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Here's Watson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outer boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. On the ground, it's four. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped, but what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. Back to throw, Watson. Touchdown, Browns! Two first-quarter touchdown passes now for Deshaun Watson. And the Browns are off to a 13-0 first-quarter lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that drive takes them down the field in eight plays, and it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Raiders offense ready to go. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. They begin the drive on the ground. It's white. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets them to second and four. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 35, back to work on second and four. They keep it on the ground. White again. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 14 yards is the pickup there in a Raider first. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Second quarter from Vegas. The home standing Raiders with a football here. As they've got it with a first and ten. They'll go play action here with Minshew. 
And it's complete to Adams. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Uh, he's trying to protect his quarterback's blind side. Got nabbed for the hole. You have one job over there. Make sure that man does not get hit. So if you have to hold occasionally, do so because they don't catch all of them. This time they did. Open man right side, Myers. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. Play action, it's Minshew. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw it, Minshew. That is caught, and shedding him off the open field. And he'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. Devontae Adams, 57 yards. And the Raiders have cut it back within a score. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. The drive summary that time, five plays. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. The Cleveland offense ready to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. They'll run on first down. It's Ford. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. This second and four. Again, they turn to Ford. A beautiful fake. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives them a first and goal. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Now it's Watson. Touchdown! 
Deshaun Watson with his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the Browns go up by two touchdowns. Touchdowns on their first three possessions, and they're a PAT from going up 21 to 7. Yeah, very impressive the way that they've moved the football. Full command of their playbook, full command of the way they wanted to attack. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was finished off by Elijah Moore on the touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. First carry now for Alexander Madison. Bust through the tackle. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Here's Minshew. The left side throw complete to Adams. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. A good position to be in here, second and in inches. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Minshew sets to throw. He's got the rookie from Georgia. That's Brock Bowers. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him now. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. And the throw and the catch were just fine. But against zone coverage, when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And that is incomplete, nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. 
Out of the gun now on third down. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's White. The speed of Jordan Hicks on display there as he gets the tackle for loss. As a linebacker, you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback. But when you find the gap, shoot it. And he found it all right. Took it straight into the backfield and made the tackle for a loss. So first down went in the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal. Once again, it's White. This carry, despite the extra effort, will be stopped short of the 10. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. They're going to look to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. The Browns' D locked in on third down, brings up fourth. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. The kick by Carlson is good, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And now the Browns coming out on the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got Njoku over the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Here's a second and two now from the 33. From the gun, here's Watson. And he will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Up the middle they go. Four. And he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. 
That'll be a 47-yard punt, officially five on the return. And the Raiders will take over now, first and 10. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it, forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa. And they have the football. It will take over at the 24-yard line. First down, it's Ford. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 40 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Rolling to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Deshaun Watson, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Browns are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Ah, this is a great decision right here. Out of the pocket to his left, and he knows if he waits too long, the defense is going to be all over him. So it makes a decision to go and wins the race to the pylon. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. They had the short field and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive, because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He sets to fire deep. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Second and ten. Now Minshew. That's to the Notre Dame man, Michael Mayer. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives.
that he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. No shortage of impressive moments from him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They'll look to throw here. He hits Adams complete. And they'll get this down to the 10. 17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. And a nice job by the two of them to not only connect on the pitch and the catch, but to carry over their practice work to the game field. They saw the adjustment by the defense, made an adjustment themselves, and picked up the first down. Out of the gun is Minshew. On the left side, a catch by White. Just a gain of a couple there. And it'll be second down. They'll look to throw. This is caught. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Now a give up the middle. This is right. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. White diving for the end zone and he'll get there. Touchdown. Sometimes offenses can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here and we get a seal here and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is down to 11 at 28-17. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And able to get this out to the 25. The Browns offense and their quarterback, Deshaun Watson, set to take over once more. And he's done everything he could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. The Browns drive about to get started. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. So we come upon halftime, and it's the visiting Browns with a lead. 
As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. Powering his way forward and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Raiders offense and Devontae Adams set to take over once more. And you see the numbers for him into this third quarter. They just pop off the screen. He has been open throughout. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And right out of the gate, they face what you'd think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Looking deep for Adams. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll set up to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. A gain of nine. Not enough. And it's fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Prochet on the return. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Browns offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Watson now to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Max Crosby picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball gets super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Out of the gun, Watson. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Third and eight. 
Here's Watson. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards of punt as he gets this away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They start to drive with White. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll go up the middle with White. And no luck at all to start this drive as they're going to drop him behind the line for a second straight play. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and ten. They'll go Madison up the middle. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. On second and ten, Minshew. His throw incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll go play action here with Minshew. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure. And it's a loss of six. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play-action sack. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This from 54 yards away. He's got the leg, but it's no good. He missed it right, and they will remain two scores down as the difference holds at 11. 
Now listen, now no kick from 50 plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. Cooper, the man in motion right. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. Hustling through to break that play up, Max Crosby. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves them with third and still nine to go. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. A shotgun snap for Watson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line. And we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop. And that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellows up front. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. This is Ford. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. 61 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. The handoff to Ford up the middle. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. Jerome Ford. A five-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So this drive spans seven plays. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away and they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27 
the Raiders offense and Gardner Minshew getting set to go to work once more. And this defense has got to be at its wits end trying to come up with ways to keep him contained. He's had so many opportunities to tuck it and go and he's turned a number of those opportunities into big plays. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game Charles if they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback. It has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Here's a second and five. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Short throw caught by Bowers. Two yards on the pickup there, and now it's third and three. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, that's one of the main responsibilities of a safety in any defense. A long way downfield before he's able to corral him, but that's why you have him on the field, the last line of defense. He made the play. I don't know if it'll be remembered. They're probably so mad that the run went for that long. Wonder if they were thinking pass in that situation as opposed to run and being caught a little bit out of position. Fortunately, he's able to track him down. Then he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Off play action, it's Minshew. Over the middle, complete. That's right. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Here's Minshew. This is caught by Tucker. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Trey Tucker, 30 yards. And the Raiders are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Great corner route there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Carlson now to add the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with a Las Vegas touchdown. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's the Browns football, and they've got the lead here as we start quarter number four. The Browns drive about to get started. 
Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And for the defense, this is a spot where you don't want to totally sell out to stop the run, but you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see. And that's good work right there to keep them in check on that first down carry. Back to throw, Watson. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. That time he was looking for Jerry Judy, but now it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now it's Watson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And Bohorquez on to punt as he gets it away. It's a four-yard return following a punt of 49. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Raiders offense and their running back, Zamir White, getting set for their next drive. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. Greg Newsom up to make the stop. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Minshew sets to throw. Short throw caught by Bowers. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This offense so far on third down, they've hit on half of them. Five for ten. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders' first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Here's Madison running on first down. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 49 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Open man right side, Myers. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And the Raiders are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. 
Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. White trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Again, this is White. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. Yeah, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. Madison will score. Touchdown, Raiders. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. And now the Raiders will face an important two-point conversion attempt here. They're going to try and run. But he will not get in here. He stopped up short of the goal line, and this will remain a five-point game. You know, we've discussed this before, and we've seen it at practices, extra periods being put in for the offense on these two-point tries. But the defense, they're beefing up their support as well in practice. They absolutely have to. If people are going to go for two and try and gain those advantages and make it tougher on your team as the game goes along, you have to be in a position to stop those. You can't let them get the advantage. So, yes, the defensive teams, they're putting in that extra time on two-point plays as well. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Cleveland offense making their way out. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Watson dancing to his left and he'll be out of bounds but able to get it up past the 45 able to make something out of nothing there 17 yards and a first down so well, there you go save your best scramble of the day for a big time situation in the fourth quarter picking up the first you don't want to use it up early right you want to make sure you save it for that exact moment that key time and that's what he did although you and i both know it wasn't planned that way but what a nice job using his eyes scanning the field and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go well, he tries to keep the legs churning but he's going to be stopped behind the line and they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks, and now here's a tackle behind the line. Again, they turn to Ford, and he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, but that's about it. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves them needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. Now Watson. And that is incomplete. 
necessarily look like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time ends up leading him just a bit too much. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The home team's offense and their big play wideout getting ready to get back to work. And he's looking to finish strong. He has been the star of the show as they have just had absolutely no answers for him defensively. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. And that's caught inside the 30. And they'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. Devontae Adams. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. So from three scores down, these guys have fought all the way back to grab the lead. And I'll just tell people what happened when they went up three scores. I wrote on your paper two words, game over, and now I'm eating those words. I, I was wrong. <laughs> a little salt, a little pepper yeah, goes hey, down pretty easily. I will admit when I make a mistake. Well, it looked like it was going that way. This is one of those paging Frank Reich moments, and I can't believe I just brought that up because Frank Reich at Maryland in college did it to my Tennessee Volunteers, oh. and that was a big reason why my team lost. Sounds like he still harbors some pain from that game. You know, we still got a little time to work it out with the doctor. <laughs> Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Ready to take over again on offense, out comes Cleveland. Now the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone otherwise you bring him into the play and that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass here's watson shoves him aside this short pass into the hands of Najoku. nine yards not quite enough and they'll be left now with third and one brandon perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off okay so they gave up the completion but i really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. 81 yards rushing for him now, as he has been tremendous all day long. But sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there, a big third down conversion. From the gun, here's Watson. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. 
not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 30 yard line. To throw is Watson. Over the middle, complete to Judy. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that'll make it second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing again on second down. Watson got his man complete over the middle. That's Ford. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Here we go. First and goal. They'll look to throw again. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down to the ground. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. Watson. And that will be incomplete as well. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, something through every play of this contest and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Hopkins' kick is good. And we are all tied here in the final stages. So a big kick to get this back to even. Now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get it to overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. But you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two play the best defense you can and not make it easy for him to move the ball downfield. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Marching back onto the field now, Devontae Adams and company getting set to go. And now he's inching closer to a 200-yard game. He's been so solid. And he's really denting the pride of the guys playing defense, too, because there's certain barriers that you just don't want to give up. Never want to give up a 100-yard rusher, a 100-yard receiver. He's closing in on 200 yards. Wow, that's a really big game. Minshew. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game. But I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them. Maybe it'll slow the pass rush down a little bit and they can throw it downfield. Now Minshew. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him, all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. 
Here's Minshew. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. From the gun, Minshew to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete <laughs> a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Now Minshew. Short throw caught by Bowers. They'll come to the line. This is third and three. Out of the gun is Minshew. Pass complete. It's Madison. And he is going to have the Raiders first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and ten. It'll be Minshew again. Short throw caught by Bowers. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. What pressure as this thing all rests on the foot of Daniel Carlson. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me? Think again. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. They'll come up first and 10 here. To throw Watson. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. One last throw here for Watson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. What a thrilling fourth quarter this one was. Well, at least, I guess, if you're cheering for the winning side. An, outsta an outstanding comeback, though, that saw them completely take control and change the outcome of this game. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of us saw that coming, the way that they were playing and having the lead after three quarters. 
a little bit of a stunning ending because it wasn't just a one touchdown swing. It was a multiple touchdown swing for them to end up losing that ball game. Give credit where credit is due. They came off the pace and got it done. I'm Brandon Gunn. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.